Gemini, welcome. Gemini, we're going to do a general read for you guys today. We're looking at your current energy, your desire, the outcome, what's working for you, what you need to be aware of. Once we've done that, we will clarify all those cards and we will pull three more around the read at the end. So, let's see what's going on for you, Gemini, and see where your current energies are. Four of Pentacles. Somebody's being cautious right now, <clears throat> maybe a little fearful. The desire, some type of partnership. The outcome, Seven of Swords, may not be going the way you want it to. High Priestess shows up as what's working for you. High Priestess is um, a lot of intuition, secrets could be revealed, could be getting some downloads. And then we have the Judgment card. This particular Judgment card to me is releasing or experiencing all the um, sort of your desires. Judgment also stands for uh, renewal or revival. Judgment Day also making a major choice. But let's go through, let's start to clarify and narrow those interpretations down. So the Four of Pentacles, we have the Four of Cups, the Empress, and the Ace of Cups. Seems like uh, somebody's being very, very careful with a relationship or commitment at this particular point. It's almost like there's a meh between this Four of Cups and this Empress, where it's like, you know, there's this commitment, but mm, I'm kind of scared to lo lose it. I don't really like it. And I'm hoping for a new love to come in. Maybe it's just not meeting the needs, but you're still afraid to lose that security. The Two of Wands and the Desire. Knight of Swords, Ten of Wands, Ace of Swords. In this desire for this partnership, um, it seems like it's a long time coming and a little chaotic, a little sporadic. Um, it's kind of like, yeah, you know, you'll take some action towards it. It's almost like keeping them on the line, but not really making a commitment. And we can see that the Ace of Swords, you'll eventually figure it out. The Seven of Wands, we have in the outcome, we have the Three of Pentacles, the Six of Pentacles, the Nine of Pentacles. Interesting, three, six, nine. Um, <clears throat> working on this and having those results show up uh, starts to generate reciprocity. Um, or the ability to actually share. And then we have the Nine of Pentacles where there's this, this feeling of financial abundance and security, self-worth. The High Priestess. Ooh, we have the Knight of Cups, the Ten of Swords, and the Eight of Wands. Well, the secret is there's romance coming in or going out. Uh, depending whether somebody's taking the action towards you or you towards them, as something has ended and things start to really shift quickly. Um, it's almost like there was some freedom that was had and all of a sudden things take off. <clears throat> the Judgment card, we have the Five of Wands, the Seven of Wands, and the Magician being your energy. There may become a choice where the fighting and the competition or uh, just become too much. And it's kind of like something that you may have actually manifested and brought together in order to have this change wrought upon you. Last three cards, Temperance, the Page of Wands, and the Three of Cups. Temperance talks about balance, healing, and this Page of Wands actually feels more about freedom. Um, and the happiness that goes with that. So interesting read for you today, Gemini. Um, the Knight of Swords is also your energy, but <clears throat> I did forget forget to mention that, but it doesn't seem like it changes the read very much. 
Gemini, that's what I have for you today. Best of luck this week. Feel free to give this a thumbs up or a thumbs down. We'll talk to you next time. Stay safe.